three deep in most of your positions, sometimes two, two and a half. How have you started to see that in these early stages of training camp? Yeah, I, I see it a lot, especially from the offensive side of the ball. Uh, we have a great tight end room. We have, obviously, Theo and Tyler, the older guys in that room. And then you have the younger guys, uh, Jerry and Khalil, who are doing a great job with that that third tight end right now. And then you have guys that just stepped on campus this year and doing a great job. So the offensive line, it's as deep as it ever has been since I've been here. They're like two or three deep at every position. And same goes to the receivers. So it definitely just helps as an overall offense being able to plug and play guys in any position. Thank you. Yep. Think you've developed the best on field rapport with from the wide receivers or tight ends? Uh, I mean, honestly, all all the older guys and the younger guys, we've we've done a tremendous amount of uh, work this off season as far as throwing on air and seven on seven. So I think we've done a great job just getting on the same page, uh, talking through stuff. Um, but when the coaches were gone and on the road recruiting or when they had their downtime, we were in the building, you know, going through installs, making sure everybody was on the same page, just talking through stuff. Uh, just get in on the same page so we can talk the similar language and the receivers know how the quarterbacks are thinking and the quarterbacks know how the receivers are thinking. So that was the biggest thing this off season. Off season. Do you feel like you're a better quarterback today than you were a year ago? Yeah, I do. I just feel like the coaching staff has done a great job with all the quarterbacks in the room giving us, giving us uh, stuff that we can be comfortable with and just increasing our overall knowledge of football and how, how they want us to operate the offense. So definitely feel a lot better than I did last year at this time. Uh, when you when you look at the receiving room, you know, I know there's so much talk, talk about who is going to be the, the kind of third guy to step up. Is, is there anyone that you've seen already kind of jump off the page to you? I don't whether it's Trey or I know someone last year talked about uh, Liam being one of those guys who was ready to step up. Is, is someone jump off the page to you? Yeah, I, I mean, those two guys have done a great job, Trey and Liam. And then we have Cephas that just got on campus. And then we have young guys like Amari and Caden that are doing a great job as well so far through training camp. And we also have a great tight end room. I mean, Theo and Tyler are two great tight ends that can not only run block, but they're very well versed at running routes and, and catching the ball. So I think we, we're going to have a number number of guys this uh, this season make huge impacts in the receiving game. How much Keandre is the guy that came back with the most experience in the wide receiver room? How have you seen him kind of maybe try to grow into that maybe number one role? Yeah, I think uh, Keandre's done a great job since the spring of taking that next step as a leader. Uh, I think he's bringing the young guys along, along with him and holding them up to the standard. But I think just communication between me and uh, Keandre has done a he's done a great job communicating with me uh, what he sees on certain routes or what he sees with the defense and and me telling him what I'm I'm seeing and like just talking through how I want him to run his routes or him talking me through how he's going to run his routes versus a certain look has been, you know, just great communication. And I think every receiver has done a great job with that. Is so there ever a minute where you're front. thinking, like, I want to do things like Sean would have done it, or like, you know, whether it's a preparation standpoint or a leadership standpoint, do you ever think about Sean and then trying to em emulate that? Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he did a great, uh, great amount of stuff for all the quarterbacks in the room last year. So, uh, the biggest thing was just t learning from him, uh, asking him questions as far as like what he would do differently or what he wouldn't do differently. So, and then just kind of make it into your own because obviously I'm not the same person as Sean. So something may work for me that may have not worked for Sean and vice versa. So it's really just figuring out a routine that works best for me uh, and that helps me get ready to go. Drew, you and uh, Coach have mentioned so much about this competition uh, between you and Bo and how much it's challenged you guys and made you guys better. Do you feel like, do both of you feel like that's been the case throughout this offseason? Yeah, for sure. I mean, competition uh, breeds success, and I think we have that at every position across the board, offense and defensively. Um, so I think competition just brings the best out of all of us, and it's definitely helping everybody in the quarterback room. Uh, that things weren't that different for you, stepping into a potential starter role because the team prepared you to be a starter, right, as mm -hmm. in the last year. Was there a moment in fall camp so far, like, I know it's only been three or four days, where you're like, okay, like, this is more real now. Like, was there ever anything where it settled in, like, I'm competing for this, like, this is potentially my time? Uh, no, I think we're, we're all taking it just day by day right now, just focusing on whatever we have to do to get better as an offense. Um, obviously, we go against a great defense every day, so it's, it's a work in progress, but I think we're doing a great job as a whole offense right now, just, you know, being steady and, obviously looking to improve on everything but realizing that it's going to be a process just because offense is all about timing and rhythm so just building that chemistry with everybody in the room uh, is going to be the, the main focus of camp. When 
we talk about everyone talks about leadership all the time because you want that kind of thing. Would you say you lead by example more than, than vocally? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I'm not the most vocal guy for sure. And, Unless you're uh, playing Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, but I think as a leadership, Olu has done a great job this offseason. So as Hunter and Theo Johnson has done a tremendous job of being more of the vocal guys on our offense. And then Nick and Fat Man are doing a great job of just being, uh, again, they're not the most vocal guys, but they're doing a great job of setting the tone each day just with their work ethic and mentality, approaching every day uh, and to get something out of it. And the receiver room is really doing a great job right now just uh, – is being competitive with one another. Um, that, that receiving room is very tight, but they're also very competitive with each other, which is only going to help them. What did you learn to lead like that? By example? Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's just because I've never been much of a vocal guy, probably. So, was that was that hard in high school? When I mean, especially later in your career, you were the guy that looked to like people would come across wherever to see your games. Was it harder to lead by example uh, as you as people started to look at you more, or are you still com- very comfortable in that role? No, I think it's definitely a balance. I think uh, you need to be able to pick it and choose your spots when you want to talk, because obviously everybody knows when something doesn't go wrong or do- go right that we need to do something better. So I don't think people need to hear that message. Uh, so just being as steady as we can to be able to go out and just be ourselves and be comfortable. So I think just leading by example for me comes comfortable more naturally to me, but obviously I'm working on just trying to pick my spots to, you know, step up and be the more vocal leader just because that's what a quarterback has to do. And obviously a large part of leading by example is work ethic. Mm-hmm. Where, did, where did you learn your work ethic? Uh, probably just my both my parents really um, they, they have done a tremendous like just a tremendous job raising me and my sister and then just sacrificing uh, I know it's one of our core values here and they they sacrifice a ton of just f- of their free time just to take us everywhere and give us tremendous opportunities growing up and providing us with stuff that not a lot of kids were able to have just growing up just because of different circumstances or whatever but uh, that's probably where I learned it from was just both my parents. And so what else were like the key uh, driving forces in parenting you, especially with like football and stuff because sometimes parents get forced to get into it. Like how did you get into football and how did they help push you in that regard? Yeah, so my, my dad played football in college. He played at Eastern Michigan. Um, so that was one of the probably just from a very young age just always looking up to him why I got into sports in general and especially football uh, been playing it 17 years or whatever the case is so just that's always been a part of my life and obviously just want to continue it as long as I can when did you realize you would have a chance to continue at this level like how old were you do you remember the moment like was there a moment where it like 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 Oh, I can do this. Uh, I mean, probably the end of my sophomore year, really, just because that's when everything kind of coming in full circle for me. So that's kind of where I realized it. Two more questions here, guys. Do you remember a specific moment, like the, the maybe the first uh, deep pass that you made in the Uh, I would say just we had it. We had we lost the game. It was the play, first time in the playoffs in like four years as a high school program and going against a very tough team, a very well-respected team in the RR area. And we did it pretty good. Obviously, we lost the game, though, so it doesn't really matter, but we did pretty good as an offense. And I think that's kind of when I realized it, just because there was a tremendous amount of talent on that team. Thanks, Drew. Yep. Drew, if there, I know we talked about Sean a little bit before, but if there was one thing that you learned from Sean that you view as, like, the most important thing to lead this team in the 2023, what would that be? Uh, I would just say stay in the moment, never get too high or never get too low. Uh, obviously, as much as we want to be perfect, we're not going to be perfect throughout the games and we're going to make mistakes. So just being able to be steady and just be cool, cool calm and collected is probably the biggest thing I learned from him uh, because obviously he was a fantastic leader for us, not only vocally, but uh, just visually and by example. So it was, a, it was great for us to all learn from that.